What's going on, everyone? We got some news and updates in regards to the Buddy Heald trade. So Jake Fisher of Yahoo Sports reported that the 30-year-old is unlikely to be traded ahead of the 2023-2024 season, despite early contract extension talks reportedly hitting a standstill. So Buddy Heald and the Indiana Pacers uh, were trying to come to some sort of agreement on a contract extension. It didn't work out, and Indiana immediately made Buddy Heald available. And so far, nothing. It is being reported that Buddy Heald is going to at least start the season with the Indiana Pacers. So Fisher also added, for all the initial noise about Buddy Heald being available for trade in Indiana after the sharpshooter and Pacers didn't find common ground on early contract extension talks, few rival executives believe Heald will be dealt before the season, Fisher wrote. So again, People are holding out hope, but it's I just don't see it happening. Now, look, I talked about this when the initial news came out, that I didn't see Buddy Hill being traded yet. Because there's still, a, like, a lot of teams have to kind of figure things out as far as, like, roster-wise goes. A lot of teams that may would maybe would be interested in Buddy Hill, they can't even really trade for him right now. Buddy Hield isn't really going to want to go to a non-contender. What non-contender would even want to sign Buddy Hield? So the pool is very limited, right? It, like I said, if Buddy Hield is going to get moved, it's very likely going to be around the trade deadline. It's going to be one of those teams that feel like they are close and they are just a piece away and they could go get a guy in Buddy Hield, especially if Buddy's coming off of a good season. There's a team that'll look at that and go, okay, like he's worth maybe a first round pick on a flyer to go get him. Problem also is they should have traded Buddy Hill last season. And I talked about that heavily and they didn't. And now they're in this position to where like they don't really have any leverage or control. And he's going to leave after this season. He is going to walk and you're going to lose Buddy Hill for nothing. And so again, your hope is if you're Indiana is that Buddy Hill plays well enough to where a team goes all right, like he may be the difference in us winning an NBA championship or not. That's what you're hoping for. And look, Buddy Hield is great, right? 6'4", you know, 6'9", wingspan. He's still 30 years old, so he's got plenty of basketball left in him. And with the way that he plays the game, it should age well. So he should be able, even in his later years, he kind of evolve into that like Ray Allen, Miami Heat type role. But he's coming off of a great year. Last season, he played in 80 games, so he's been reliable. A guy that you know plays games, started in 73 of them. He averaged 31 minutes a game. Uh, he shot 40, just under 46 percent from the field in total on 13 attempts, uh, and eight and a half of those attempts were threes, in which he shot 42.5 percent from three. Let me say that again: 42.5 percent on eight and a half attempts. That is ridiculous. He also shot 51.8% in two-point range and had an EFG of just under 60%, 59.6 to be exact. He's an excellent free throw shooter, you know, 86% for his career. Uh, he actually rebounds the ball pretty solid at five rebounds a game, two and a half assists. So he's able to kind of keep the ball swinging and make plays. 1.2 steals last year. And, uh, you know, round it up a little bit uh, to half a block. And he averaged just under 17 points per game last year for the Indiana Pacers. He's a guy that can absolutely make an impact. He's a guy that could be a real factor and contributor, whether it's in a starting role or coming off the bench. Uh, most teams would probably look to, to add him and bring him off the bench, right? But... More likely than not, like I said, it's going to end up being probably one of like the top teams, right? Like, like you, you, you think of like what team would look at Buddy Hield and go, okay, like he's the piece we need, right? Like you think of like Boston, Milwaukee, uh, obviously the Lakers, right? The Lakers and Buddy Hield just seem like destined for each other, since the Lakers have had had a deal done finalized and ready to go twice now for Buddy Heald, right? So they had, when he was with Sacramento, before he was ever with Indiana, they had a deal done, lined up, ready to go to acquire Buddy Heald. 
Um, and then, you know, Anthony Davis and LeBron James decided we want Russell Westbrook. And so Rob Polinka, instead of fin- finishing the deal and filing the paperwork for Buddy Heald, decided to spurn the uh, Sacramento Kings and go and uh, acquire Russell Westbrook. Then last year, the Lakers had a deal done, ready to go to trade Russell Westbrook and two first for Buddy Heald and Miles Turner. And Jeannie Buss said no. And she vetoed it. So, Buddy Heald again kind of seems destined to be a Laker. Maybe that happens, right? We'll see. Time will tell. But you got to imagine a team like that, right? It's very likely going to be, you know, one of these teams that has the pieces to go and trade for him. Uh, You know, maybe the Phoenix Suns consolidate a couple guys to go and and try to get him because they think like, okay, he could be a piece of value. The Clippers, it's going to be, it's very likely going to either be one of like the top five or six teams, or it's going to be one of those like middle of the pack teams that are like, maybe Buddy Heald is the difference to kind of put us in that next tier. And I mean, he could, he very well could be, but you know, what, like, couple things, right? So one is, what is Buddy Heald looking for, right? Because, like, that's got to be one of the starting points if you're if you're one of these teams. Like, what what is Buddy Heald looking for? Is he is he looking to play 30 minutes a game? Or is he looking to, to come to a contender, play whatever role is asked of him? You know, whether it's coming off the bench, whether it's starting, whether it's 20 minutes one night, whether it's 10 minutes one night, whatever. Right, like, what is his desire? Team? Does he care? You know, and is he open to re-signing with any team? Right, because I mean that that would open up so much more. Right, like even a team like Miami, right, like they could use Buddy Hield, but like, would Miami go and risk some type of assets when they already have so few to go get a guy like Buddy Hield? And then run the risk of him leaving. Probably not. You know, a a team like the Knicks. Does he want to be in New York? Is he okay with playing in New York? You know, or does he look at it as like, you know, no. Or like Philly, right? Do the Sixers look to go and and maybe acquire Buddy Hield? Especially if like James Harden ends up getting traded, right? Do they kind of go, okay, well, you know, Buddy Hield could at least provide some, some scoring, some shooting, you know, give us some floor spacing, but do they do they make that move if Buddy Heald isn't committed and he looks like, hey, you know, I'm ready to go? You know, like, does it do we get to the trade deadline and it's essentially only like the Lakers because, you know, that's the only place he wants to go? Because again, he has a he has free agency to, to kind of control and dictate where he wants to go. Right? Like, does he does he go to Dallas? Right, like there's a lot of teams that I think would, you know, like his services, but how many teams are willing to do that? Like how many teams are willing to 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 put whatever is needed to do so? And also like the Indiana Pacers want like a first round pick. I don't see them getting a first round pick for Buddy Hill because again, what team is interested in that? What team is looking at it and going, oh, man, we want to give up a first-round pick for an expiring player that may or may not make us better? You know, he's making $18.5 million, which is, you know, I mean, that that's very a very tradable salary, right? Like, the only other option for Buddy Heald would be, like, you know, a, a team that wants to unload salary. Right, but does that make sense for the Pacers, or did the pay, or are the Pacers better off just kind of waiting it out and letting Buddy Hield just fall off the books, right? Because there is always that option. You know, you have a team that's like, hey, you know, we want to, you know, you have eighteen, you have an eighteen million dollar expiring contract. We have this guy that's like sixteen and a half million that we're paying the next three years, right? Like, just just using this as an example because it's like the first thing that popped in my mind. But like Terry Rozier on the uh, on the Hornets, right? He's got a couple years left on his deal. Do do would would the Hornets go? You know what? Hey, we'd love to take Buddy Heald for this year. 
you know, if you take Terry Rozier, right, and we'll we'll buy Buddy Healed out or we'll keep him or whatever. Buddy's like, hey, you know, like, no, get me out of here. I want to go to a contender. Then they probably buy him out and give him what he wants. But, you know, does a team like that look to go and say, like, okay, well, you know, let's let's unload Terry Rozier. You know, we, we want to go with the young guys. We, we already kind of have this log jam. Like, let's figure Like, that could be something. But, again, does that make sense for the pace? Like, are the Pacers looking at it as like, oh, like, you know, I, we'd love a Terry Rozier. You know? Because, again, $18.5 million, it's it's a very tradable salary, but it's still something that many teams would have to actually get to. Right? They're probably trading, like, multiple guys rather than just swapping one guy. So it's just something to keep in mind. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if he's not traded at all, (laughs) if he ends up getting waived or something. Like, I really wouldn't, especially if the Pacers aren't very good this year, right? And they're kind of struggling for a play-in or whatever. I wouldn't be shocked if they just end up waving, buddy. But I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question to you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? One, do you think he gets traded? Two, where where would you like him traded? Is there like, do you have like a specific destination that comes to mind where you're like, you know, the Lakers or the Celtics or, you know, the Knicks or whomever? Is there like a destination that you think he he would fit best in? And, uh, you know, what, like what teams would you want to see him on? Anyway, as always, again, love to hear it. How do you feel? Down in the comments.